Hello, everybody, and welcome back to AGP. That's right, we're back. We survived. For those of you who remember, we went on a little field trip this past Saturday. We survived. Only one of us really got intact, and we're going to dive into that. But, of course, as always, I want to thank you and welcome everybody here. My name is Amanda. I'm the owner-operator of AGP. Joining me tonight is, of course, my right hand, who actually went with me. She had. A, I hope she had a lot of fun. She looks to still be alive. My right hand, Cassie. Nice. Kind of alive. I know. And hopefully he's back from getting his food. The ever lovable. He didn't go because he has to live in Florida. Loser. That man walking. Um, my right hand's name is uh, Ginger. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway, Amanda, how are you tonight? Good to be I'm back. I'm good. Cassie. You? Good, Cassie. Always lovely to oh. see you. Oh. Yeah, I got to hear all about this adventure. Oh, it was entertaining. It was. It was Cassie, Cassie was in charge of videotaping most of the stuff. Well, as long yeah. as you don't poop your pants, you're okay then. You know. Well, that's why we wore the brown. Yeah, we need to go through the, the footage. At some point, Honey, do you know how much footage I have to go through? Hell, I'm still working on the Gym City photos. Holy I shit. Said we, if you want to somehow get it over to Candace and I, I'm sure both of us will take shifts watching a few minutes every now and then. See what we sure, see. Here, let me just teleport it to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we could just figure out how to. Yeah. But, who? what a weekend. I, I'm going to be honest. I was drained. Yeah. I couldn't, <laughs> like, I was dead to the world the day after. Yeah, I think we all felt like we had been out, like, swimming in the ocean and got sun blisters all around, like, just the amount of energy that you had. Go like, yeah. and, and, so here's the thing, guys, is, you know, if, if you know anything about ghost hunting, know anything about ghosts, they will use the energy of not just your equipment, which we experience that quickly, but it will also use your energy as well. And for someone like me, hey, Peaches, good, she's here because she's the only witness to the most dangerous thing ever. <laughs> most dangerous thing. Why can I not hear you very well? I don't know. Are you deaf? Not I'm likely. Drinking. <laughs> but they will use the energy equipment and the you as a person. And someone like me who normally is functioning from 630 in the morning to 2 o'clock in the morning to be dead for a whole day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they drained the shit out of me. That's not that's yeah. not even a lie. Yeah. So before we talk about wh what we did, what they do tap it, put a keg in you, tap. You know, yeah, yeah, like, that's exactly what they do. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about where we went. Where we went? All right, sorry. All right, so so it's we're halfway to hell. So, so sorry, this Amanda, is actually. Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. If you <laughs> caught the podcast from from last weekend. We did a thing called Area 13 talking about a new haunted house that's coming to Oxford, Ohio. We went to said site. Now, Area 13 is actually a night missile site, which was operated by the United States Army. Um, the Army deployed night missile sites to also places in Europe, part of the NATO alliance. But there are approximately 265 leftover traces of night missile bases that can still be seen around cities across the entire United States. Um, these sites were decommissioned. They were first offered to federal agencies. Many were already on Army National Guard bases who continue to use the property. Others were offered to state and local governments, while others were sold to school districts. That would be educational. Hey, kids, want to learn about <laughs> missiles? Let's well, this go! One, this one was part of Miami ticket, right, for a while. And I'm curious, this is a genuine curious question, is it Nike or is it Nike? Nike. I, I, I say Nike, but it's Nike. Well, no, uh, Jordan says Nike, and he's military, and he's and when he was looking into it, because he was like, oh, that's super exciting, hey, what branch, da, 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 but he said Nike, and so that's why I was wondering what, anyway. I, I, I mean, it, 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 I think it's it, actually it, Nike, but I do not know this, because I only I, know two people now that have said it out loud. Oh, no. <laughs> um, and then, of course, some of the leftovers, like in this situation, are now, are owned or have been given to private individuals. Many mm -hmm. of the sites are municipal yards, communications, FFA, FAA facilities, probation camps, and have even been renovated as airsoft gaming and military simulation training complexes. 
Unfortunately, several of them have been obliterated and turned into parks. Some are now private mm -hmm. residences. They, da, da, da. Not me. Not after what we experienced on Saturday. Hell no. I ain't living on one. Could you imagine it being a paintball like place though? That would be kind of awesome. Well, let me ask you this question. What it was like a big indoor area because see, we went to some of the, the Minutemen uh silos in South Dakota. You know, one was out in the ground in a field, which you couldn't oh. go down and in. The other was like the visitor uh, like spots you could pull up to that were like out outside buildings. So it, this has multiple different buildings. Hmm. The thing we looked up, I think said like 14, right? Do you, I don't know if you, what you looked up, but 14 different buildings. And it also has a bunch of the, um, and four unlocated bunkers, right? Or do they know where a couple of them are already? They don't, they don't know where any of the bunkers are. Yeah, there are four are of them. The yeah. of four known. <laughs> Who knows how many unknown? We don't know that. <laughs> but yeah, Jordan and I looked it up for a little while. Or knew me. I should say no. Sorry. Knew and me and it's it. actually really cool that we have one of the few, because there's only a few left that are actually actually intact and have preserved the history of the Nike or Nike project. Now you're gonna have me saying that you suck. Wait, is there a way to look it up? Like look up that word and no. see if it's pronounced. No, I mean, they don't even they don't even like tell you how to pronounce <laughs> it on Wikipedia, okay? So congratulations. Well, Wikipedia is Wikipedia though. That's, mm, I don't know. If we, knew, um, now <laughs> if we need some more, uh, I could call ask some more military people what they would pronounce it as. <laughs> but nah, uh, it's it's haunted as fuck. That's what it is. No, <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. ours, okay. here in, <laughs> ours here in Oxford actually ran from March 1960 to March 1970. It is now under a private or ownership. Um, I do like the fact that it's actually in a listing in excellent condition, buildings in good condition, also several radar towers. Uh, radio transmission cell tower built on site. Magazine area has been partially filled in. <laughs> partially, not fully, but partially filled in. <laughs> there is severe cracking of concrete. It's been abandoned. The site is currently used as a small firing range. Not anymore. It's being turned into a haunted house. And a radio tower has been built there. Please be advised that groundwater contamination is a huge problem at the site. So, guys, don't go swimming. <laughs> I pee. I pee in the pool anyway, so uh, it, it kind of it kind yeah, of uh, the water. They actually, had, they one when we were taking the tour, they actually one of the buildings that we weren't allowed to go into was one of the old radiation buildings. So, oh boy, <laughs> you didn't yeah. get to see that, but yeah, there's a really close to that huh. So yeah, they did nuclear and, testing. No, I'm just kidding. They did not. I have no idea to that. <laughs> But yeah, that's just a little bit of history about the place that we went to on Saturday that's being turned into a haunted house at this particular time. And I do think that that has something to do with a lot of the activity being stirred up is the fact that they're doing renovations, they're remodeling, they're changing some of the stuff. Even though they are honoring and trying to preserve the history within it, they are still turning it into an attraction. And um, yeah. Things got quite active real quickly. Woohoo! So, Cassie, yeah, what was your experience? How did you enjoy I, it? <laughs> I don't know if enjoy is the word, but I'm always interested in that type of thing. So, you know, getting the responses to uh, like spoken questions that were way too appropriate and, and knowing that, you know, you, they kind of, I, I apologize. I can't remember the other woman's name that helped with the, uh, the boxes, but you know, Candace didn't know what we were asking. And then they would say things that fit way too well with the questions we were asking. Like, okay, well this little headless boy's name is Philip and we're going to go get him a toy because I am now very attached to Philip. So. <laughs> Which remember you know, that we called the S's method. What's that? I said it was the S Estes method. Oh, the oh. speaking thing. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I, will, I, will be, I will be honest. When we first got in there, I was a little skeptical. Um, oh, it's good. Especially it's good. since it was our hosts that were doing the first set of things. It wasn't until Peaches got the opportunity to be in the hot seat with the spirit box that we couldn't hear mm -hmm. at the time that 
I started going, okay. And it's quite funny because when you got into the spirit box the first time I went into the hot seat, that's when the shit to the left of me started going off and I kept wandering into that other room. We were very distracted, yes. Hi, can I help you? So, oh, I realized with that, my uh, pen recorder, it recorded the first half of it and then the other half of it, I accidentally turned it off. Oh, <laughs> Which means the pen wasn't recording when we were do when that incident that we will get to happened between you and I oh, and the no. camera. Yep. Well, who had the video camera at that point? I don't remember because I would have walked. I, I walked away at that point because I, I started hurting. Like it was just a lot of concrete and it had nothing to do with anything oh, with anything there. else except for it. concrete. Help. Oh, I. If I leave, then I leave. I can't get into Twitch without leaving this. Help me! Help, please. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. I got this. Trying. Okay. I'm trying. All right. <laughs> uh, He's gonna no, the pen me. recorder was in the first room. Uh, I didn't use it in any other room. Oh, so I completely fast. forgot it existed. Sorry, pup. <laughs> The one oh, was yeah. hearing like the footsteps and the voices in the in the next room over. So, did you hear anything wh while it was recording? So, Peaches was sitting in a chair with earbuds yeah. in her head and sound canceling headphones, so she couldn't hear anything that was going on outside of air, outside of what she was listening to, and she and was eyes closed, and her eyes were closed, hey, uh, except for the times that I went, "Hey." <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I need you to pay attention out here. <laughs> I really need you to pay attention to this, like right now. Um, so we were sitting there, and we were asking questions. Peaches was answering for the spirit as the answers were coming through to her, because she couldn't hear what we were asking. And it might be good to describe what she is hearing. Like it's a, it's almost like a static radio going okay, through channels. So it's it's going through channels, mm. but it's going so fast that it it shouldn't sweet. catch on um, any any voices or anything unless said spirits manipulate the voices that are already there in order to say something. Um, now doing it myself, it is extremely hard to try to pick out some voices, but there were a few that were so fucking clear. Well, yeah, you could tell because you would say them so quick and loud. Like, <laughs> in other ones, you'd be like, you could tell you were unsure, like, mm. yeah. So basically, Dad, um, what a spirit box is, is it's a radio that has a slight modification that en enables it to rapidly scan multiple stations at once, nonstop, as opposed to standard radios that play a single station at once. Um Basically, like during a car trip, you can pick up a particular station of frequency. You can listen to it for however long you want. In contrast, this, the aim for it is to scan all the stations repeatedly, scanning both AM and FM without stopping at a specific frequency. Since ghosts and spirits, even demons, have a tend to communicate on different radio frequencies and find that convenient. Therefore, it doesn't stop upon finding a channel as would a regular radio. So basically, it's a ghost box that picks up on that paranormal activity while scanning the stations. It will detect noises, audio, voices, and will only pause, not stop, on a given station to capture incoming messages, mainly in the form of like phrases or sentences. Okay, that yes, the person sense. listening just says whatever is clearly stated to them. Otherwise, so it's just she noise. was repeating what she could hear through the spirit box back to us, mm -hmm. which we were asking questions. The trick is for those that both I realized doing a f the two times that I did it, as well as watching other people do it, um, is that the more you get into a more meditative state, it's easier to get those answers because you're not focusing too much on what you're trying to hear. You just kind of zone out, and then if you hear something, you say something. Hmm. And Peach just said it a few times. I didn't because I was using an actual voice recorder, and I was too busy. Hmm. List I was trying to listen to see because there were certain rooms where everybody was focused over here, but my <coughs> instinct said to go over here. To go yeah. look at this, to go see this. And a couple of times, 
I turned out to be really right. Oh, yeah. And one time it Trust was really, really things, man. bad idea. <laughs> 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 and I'm I'm kind of glad that you're here, Peaches, because like I said, you're the only one that was there at the very end in this yeah. certain mm -hmm. situation. So unfortunately, oh, yeah, that, that's a whole lot to unpack. <laughs> so unfortunately, this does. So if you don't have the evidence to back it up, it does become a personal experience. So it is now just a personal experience between Peaches and I. But mm -hmm. it was still it was the only thing that actually terrified me through the entire night. Yeah, I noticed because you were freaking the fuck out when you were walking out. <laughs> well, it grabbed me on the way out. It snatched my hair on the way back out. Okay, we're not supposed to get to that yet. We got to get through everything else, then we can get to that. <laughs> so the first room we're talking yeah, to. Hey, Peaches got her act together. Wow. All right. Yes. Listen up. To me, the first room was very anticlimactic. Just very. But yeah. I mean, there were some really good answers and set the stage for what was about to come. You know, everybody was starting to get in their groove. Um. When you took over, I became less skeptical because I like mm -hmm. you're a member of my crew. I know yeah. you. I can. You trust, trust me you. more than someone than, that I don't really. Are know. they trying to make an impression yeah. for a reaction? Right, and right. you're not. You want the truth too. Like you want to know what are we all going to be interacting with, right? So, I, okay, what is the other woman's name, or do we should we have something to like refer I, this person back to the only, Bailey and her I know. Pink hair friend. She was so sweet. I she thought was it was a nice girlfriend, person. to be honest. But I, I no, I think know. Bailey says she does <laughs> have a girlfriend. Yeah, Bailey. Other than oh, Alex. Okay. Other than Alex. Other than Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex was the name of the ghost who likes to pick on Bailey a lot. Like he really picks on Bailey, and it's more like kindergarten pick on because like it it comes out later that Alex has a thing for Bailey. Well, there's a lot of cuss words that came out of that room. She's 19. Because I thought, when I saw her, I thought, I was like, oh, crap, she's like 14, 15. No, she's 19. So I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, my favorite room was the second room we went to. The okay. kid's room? With the kid. Yeah, I am so glad I left that cat ball. Yeah, but now we have to go take of something else because the Oh my god. Wait, I, should we do the end story now or what? Because that was amazing. I <laughs> like, don't know he, why he picked the one that was the battery was dying more than the other ones. <laughs> I think it was because it was what, what was closest to him at the time. And since so that was Well, the one I that put another one next to it. He refused to mess with it. Because that was the first one. Right. So to set up this stage, we go into another room. And there's a spirit, supposedly there's a spirit of a kid. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just went and sat on the couch like, cool, let's go. <laughs> no, they there's introduced a table him with as a sword. headless kid. They specifically said yeah. that there would be a headless kid. So, Well, I yeah. didn't see him, so I can't tell you if he's headless or not. <laughs> I'm just saying, they introduced him as a headless kid. <laughs> well, he introduced yeah. himself as Philip and six years old. <laughs> That's true. So mm. He is a ghost spirit named Philip who is six years old. I'm not calling him headless kid unless he goes, I ain't got no head, bitch. He gurgled at you. Maybe. I remember correctly. Yeah, well, gurgling could be yeah, apparently headless. He gurgling gurgled. could be drowning. <laughs> That's true. So, and, until I have the confirmation that he's headless, which is <laughs> oh You're super like, like, no, don't don't make poor thing headless. What? He's, <laughs> he's dead. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> look, I've seen Philip in my <laughs> look, okay, if anything came home, it was <laughs> Philip. Get out of my shit. Um, because I swear to God, I had a dream. He's just this little six-year-old kid, brown hair, brown eyes, little <laughs> little kid. Just your average. You just had one. He says, Mom. <laughs> oh, listen to her. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. This is why nothing can, could ever come home with me because no. I got too much to deal with. So we walk into this room. They explain that there's this kid in there. And Peaches, brilliant as she is, brought these little cat ball toys that when you click on them, they light up. Well, no, you just click them on to turn them on and then you can. When move you move them, them they light up. Um, yeah. 
And we set some around the room. We started doing, you know, talking and things like that. And, hey, hey, <laughs> you're not lying on the table. Had, I also had the um, talk app on my phone as well to help with getting answers. Which can, which got interesting when we got into another room. Oh my gosh! We're yeah. <laughs> um. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Anyway, so that man, you still with us? I'm still here. I'm okay. just letting you do your thing. Cause that man is sitting there doing like, ooh, tell me more. <laughs> I'm just sitting here waiting. So I'm we to hear about all the end, but y'all got to get y'all got to build up till the end. Oh. The oh, there's end a lot more in between. That's even just as like all oh, exciting <laughs> so we're in there and i'm sitting on the couch and there's this little stand with um a little bayonet and that's where one of the cat toys is and i'm standing i'm sitting there there's also an american flag above it there's, there's a folded american flag yeah that's actually so what they have displayed there um mm. That's stuff that you give to a family. When, I know um, when they yeah. die. Yeah, yeah. So, you gotta remember yeah. military family. <laughs> Papa, World yeah. War Two, World War One, World War Two. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we were sitting there, and there's nobody around it. Mm -hmm. Nobody's moving, and the it was just me and um one of the guys I believe that lit or go there frequently that were anywhere near and none, neither of us moved but nobody was moving and even though you were near it you were you weren't even by the t you were standing yeah about that you were far. a good two to three feet yeah you were yeah. real you guys were far enough away from the table that you didn't knock the table you didn't touch it the ball itself never even actually moved yeah. it's really can't. hard to get them to go off by themselves too if you just pick them up and try to shake it well, you saw me constantly going, hey, work. Yeah. Um, and I look up and the ball's going off. Mm -hmm. At one point, and you even said it moved. I didn't see that. I, it, but it moved just, just like like he was trying. It, it didn't roll. It moved. It kind like of it, like teetered a little bit. It teetered like he was trying to get to the button. Oh. oh. To the butt? The button, not the button. Butt. Okay. There's a button on the ball. Uh, that man here's butt. The He's butt. Like, okay. Butt? <laughs> yes, the ghost kid touched the butt. <laughs> but because yeah, it was it was kind of like like let's say this was the ball. It went like this and went right back. Like he tried to mm -hmm. move it to see, you know. Cause this was about the time that we were talking about how the batteries were dying when it Yeah. Like and he's he, like, oh, I like this one. <laughs> so it was almost to me. It was like he was like, oh, it needs a new bat. Where's the battery? Where? How does it? How yeah. do you fix it? Um, but I thought it was one. It is one of the pieces that I know we have video evidence of happening, which makes me so excited. Yeah, because everybody. Was I was so excited to bring those. I got worried for a second when I was trying to gather everything that I wanted to bring because I couldn't find it for like thirty minutes. Mm. Um and like I really want to bring these cat balls, but I couldn't find them. <laughs> and then like the last minute, I'm like, if I can't, I'm gonna look one more place. And if I can't find it, then I can't bring it. And then of course it's the last place I look. Well, yeah, I like it when <laughs> when because there's no if when we go back. I oh yeah, I'm excited that. to go back. I want I want to take him another cat toy because he really liked it. But he it, but he said he says he's a boy. He says that his name is mm -hmm. Philip. During, I think there was two things in that room. There was two things in that room because I found so um, Ashley has been going through some of the evidence, uh, some of the stuff that she has. She's got a picture mm -hmm. of me sitting on the couch, and the camera won't focus, and I'm blurred out. Mm. Oh, I have a story for you, uh, for you guys. Um, when we get to the other room down the red hallway, I have something to add into that one. But continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, but I want to also see if he kids normal a lot of boys around that age and around that mm -hmm. time like to play with toy cars. So I also want to take him a toy car. 
save you like that. Get one that lights up with so, like we can literally go in for five or ten bucks at Dollar General. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, and then if I'm, it does light honey, up and make I'm noise, thinking, can, honey, yeah. I'm thinking just a little Hot Wheel. No, no. Honestly, no. I'd go with one that can make noise to see if he can't make it go off. If he could make it I go off, right? That's what I'm saying. I want him to go. To, I want the Hot Wheel, and I'll tell you why. I want to see if huh. he could generate enough energy to move it. I don't know. Electricity is I mean, easier. fair. Fair, but yeah, again, it takes a lot more energy to actually move an object. Cool, he can feed off it. a Cassie. She'll <laughs> even go to the car. Feed off her attachment. Yeah. yeah. Miss bringing shit into the goddamn place. What the hell's hey. the matter with you? Nobody ever but asked yeah. him a good thing, and I'm pretty sure it's a good yeah. thing, so it's fine. So, yeah, that room was, that room was a lot of people. fun. That, yeah. that room was a lot of fun. And then we go into like this hospital, what they're turning into the hospital room for the haunted house. Mm -hmm. And with the mannequin, Wait, hold on. Is creepy. I didn't like it. Hold on. Is the doll room before or after that? After. 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 Okay. I couldn't remember. Sorry. Doll mm -hmm. room is after. Doll room is where things turn. Go weird. <laughs> things are really weird in the doll room. It was a really weird room already. Like, to be fair, <laughs> we're not even there if you yet. Don't feel anything. You could be like a psychic mute and you just go into that room like this is creepy. Why is this so creepy? <laughs> so of course, your fearless leader, as entertaining as she is, the first thing she does is she finds the mannequin and gives it a lap dance. Yes, we have did. video. During, That's a, one of the video. During, <laughs> during a ghost hunting adventure, Amanda gives a mannequin a lap dance and then yeah. high fives it. <laughs> like Yo, what's up? Yeah. And then gave it an extra ball. <laughs> I still haven't reviewed the audio recording from the pen yet. I need to. <laughs> I, like I should have brought said, home the camera from Amanda so I could watch through that. <laughs> there, there's a lot to go what through. What she needs to do is go through all the videos and just put one long video together and just throw it on YouTube. Most actually, of the video that of her camera will be dark. like Which is actually good for the cat ball things, but you know, unless there's something that actually moves in a light sense, then you're not yeah. But to. you never know; there could be a shadow person that we didn't see. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. True. And also, next time we need to bring more flashlights. What I what I would like to do is I have a friend of mine who has a video camera that has night vision. No, <laughs> and I want to borrow that. Yeah, that, that'd be awesome. But I, I still want to bring vision. a flashlight for just in case. <laughs> just in case Amanda turns around the corner and does something really stupid and gets attacked? Yeah, go out there. Great. Cool. Um, <laughs> my favorite part of that room was know. doing... Oh, sorry. We'll get, we'll get to that. All right. So here we are in the hospital room. And here we bring out a new piece of equipment that... Did you bring it, Peaches? The yes. rods? Okay. Yes. Dowsing rods. For dowsing rods. Dowsing rods. It's actually Kathy's, but yeah. Dowsing <laughs> rods are awesome. But we ended up those along with two spirit boxes, and I had a digital recorder at this point. A partridge in a pear tree? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Jesus way. Christ. That man, what are you trying to do? Make my dog fat? I got to participate <laughs> somehow. You can. <laughs> you, tell me when, you can tell me when things start getting scary. I'm, Here, baby. I'm listening. This gig. Come on. The it's, hair pulling is the scary one. It, no, that's scary that or is. hot. Scary or hot. Damn it. We'll we'll get to that. Um uh, again, not there yet. <laughs> right, sorry, I'm kind of out jumping. I damn it, get to the end. Sorry. <laughs> no, because then the show's over. You still got three two to three more rooms, man. Wow. So, okay, gotta be patient. So we get <laughs> little room i'm i'm being goofy whatever they're using the dowsing rods and ben and i are pulled to the other side of the room it was a corner with a tarp thing it had like a, a tarp cover right now i took one of the cat toys that never messed with the cat toy but i did put the, the mm -hmm. digital recorder down because if i do remember correctly you all thought he was they it, bailey and them thought they he was over in this certain area and mm -hmm. I, if I remember correctly, I asked a question. Are you actually in this corner? And the dowsing rods went to yes. Yeah. So Ben and I were, again, instincts were right. By the way, I just got really chilled. 
talking about this for some reason. <laughs> like, hello, goosebumps, go away. Um, I love dowsing rods, by the way. Uh, Dadman, do you I know dowsing rods? Do I what? Do you, do you know, know, what, do you know what dowsing rods are? rods are? No, I have no clue. I, I'm out They're of kind my of fun. I, I'm completely out of my. Uh, they. They're made of copper, and they actually used to be used to find water as well, because they do things with magnetic energies, oh, okay. which okay. is the point okay. here. Is, yeah. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, gotcha. gotcha. But the ones she has has uh, beads on them, so it makes sure that you're not moving them. Mm -hmm. um, so you're holding on to the beads while the wire can still move. Oh, okay. And it's funny when you watch it, like, literally, like, wavering or going, like, just immediately one way mm -hmm. or the other, like, whoa, where did uh, that, like, no one like, moved? <laughs> There was one uh, the few times where you can automatically tell you're talking to two to two to three different entities because of the fact that the speed of each answer. Um, mm -hmm. When you're there was the first one we were talking to that was kind of slow. Um, I had to wait a, quite a bit to try to get an answer. Energy, um, I needed to use a lot more energy, and then it went to something else that went so fast. To answer questions it was like double to triple times the speed of the first person so i immediately was like am i talking to a new person um but yeah that, that was like one of my favorite the favorite parts was like being able to recognize like, two different people uh, how about the one that wanted to play a trick on amanda is there anybody else how about her there are no attachments <laughs> to me. I'm all for playing tricks on Amanda. I, I also like the fact yeah. that she goes, "Are you lying to get uh, to scare Amanda?" And it's like, um, and like it, it hesitated, like, uh, <laughs> what's the answer here? I'm not sure. <laughs> like we oh, all said, we're on fun of it. Since we're on this room, um, you know, remember towards the end when we were about to get ready to leave, and Cassie's like, she forgot, her, she left without without all her stuff, um. I went down a hallway because I thought I saw a figure um, at the end of the hallway, but not at that first doorway, the second mm -hmm. doorway where it was dark in the darker area of the that hallway to get um, around the corner um, when we first came in. Um, I just saw a, a fairly tall figure This kind of like you could see maybe half of uh, mm. the body. Um Mm. on the side of the doorway like it was halfway in the wall it was weird but <laughs> it was ghost face he was stalking you no <laughs> <laughs> well yeah no i, I, I had to go down part, there uh, my favorite part of that happening is cassie mm. starts picking up your stuff we're making fun of you and your spirit box goes brilliant like i'm like <laughs> Because like, I was just like, what the fuck? And it's just like, brilliant. And it, that was exactly how it sounded like. Like, you dumbass bitch. Get back here get your shit. <laughs> it was the funniest. <laughs> like, Cassie and I could have... Cassie and I just started busting up laughing. It was so funny. I'm really interested since the um digital recorder was far away from everybody. Mm -hmm. Even even and though it it, it'll, pick, anything. it'll pick it up, you know, as a background noise, but I want to see what I was able to catch since there was nobody talking over it. Yeah. yeah. That I think that's gonna be really interesting to see if I caught anything on that. So I'm excited for that. That that, that room <laughs> to me, that room was more where the kid room was really fun and playful. That was kind of mm -hmm. more adult playful. Yeah, that was like a. It wasn't there like a doctor and then. Never yeah, know. Um, who else was there? Because there was two. I don't know. I don't think we questioned the other one. The the, the other one, the the one just wanted to play. The one just wanted to tease me. I'm like, would you stop? Mm. I will smack you. I thought uh, somebody I, asked if they were a nurse. Did they not? I yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I I remember something about a, a white coat or something. Um. You. <laughs> no, that's my bed sheet, so I could be a ghost. No, um, <laughs> yeah. that was funny, Dabby. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's either, it was it was either that or um, because when I was doing the spirit box, um, I was like seeing shit with my eyes closed. Uh, that might have been one of the things I was seeing was with a lab coat, but um, I, I remember it was involved. 
My lab coat. Oh. And then was it? And then we left there, and that's when the doll room came into play. Yeah, I think right? so. We went. We went outside, and we had. A, we went to a different building. Yep. Uh, and, wait, was the doll room in a different building? Yep. Yeah, we had to walk down that little oh, hallway because yeah, we, with, we had to walk around the hallway. The in the first room that we went to, they talked about how this room they don't like the guys, and I'm like, oh well, that's brilliant. You said you put a male mannequin in here. Ah, yep. Yeah. I forgot about the mannequins at those. Some of those rooms had creepy ass. Like, mm, they're mm. And, mm, a haunted house feeling. They're going for is already there, but no. Remember, we had to walk across that wooden, like almost platform looking thing. No, mm. that's a different room. That's going to the bathroom. That's going to the bathroom. Oh. So now okay. you can't That's not the doll room yet. You can't go take a leak in peace without the ghost bothering you? No. 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 no, no, no. no dang. <laughs> and trust me when I say after you hear this, you're not going to want to pee in that room anyway. But so, not yet. Doll okay. room. <laughs> room. That's what we'd had got interesting. Dang, yeah. peaches, we had two peaches, spirit peaches boxes peaches. going. You know, I tell you what, Peaches, you need to do your own podcast stuff. You are so organized and you got a method and you got a way to go and you <laughs> keep the cats hurting well we got Sorry. we got to do it step by step me i know i know but you're really organized so this is the first time i think i've been on an extended podcast like this with you usually it's just been gaming you're much more i vocal think it might have been be. one other time Once, yeah but yeah but you're very vocal right? that's awesome it's vocal so. because it is an exciting topic it's because something <laughs> exactly. that i enjoy <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome because it's always Ash and I always tried to take over Amanda's channel, so it's cool. Peaches and Cassie take over Amanda's channel. Now. Take over Amanda's channel. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, I'll be quiet now. I, I there, I interjected a little bit. I encouraged rebellion. So, oh. but yeah, we had two. Sorry, we had two. Um. Um. Estes methods go in in two different rooms. They're both. I think they're both a doll room, or was it a doll room and they're both a doll room. Both a doll room. Okay, we had two different uh two different ones go in. So um both me and the other woman that originally <laughs> did the Estes method. Yeah. Um, funny redheaded chick. Got it. Yeah, we couldn't hear each other. Um, I used my headset, which I'm pretty sure you guys could hear a little bit more since it wasn't noisy. We couldn't hear what it said, but we knew when it was saying things loudly. No, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. no, because there was one I heard clearly. No, that was at the end. Hold on, hold on. That was at the I'm end. Not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just saying there was one that Ben and I heard clear as day, and we're gonna get to that because I really oh, I know that was creepy as fuck. And fuck that, and that was the moment you were done anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and made me turn around and cuss it out. Um, but during the SS method, I don't know what was going on in the other room. You guys can relay what uh, was going on there. So but when I was funny, funny. Huh. you guys ended up being in the same room. Yep. You guys just didn't know you were in the same room. You were to mm. my left. She was directly to my mm. right. Mm-hmm. And Ashley was on something else. So there was three of you at one time talking. And what's funky about it. And your phone was, was in the corner. Your, and your, your phone was in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and we had three spirits talking to at the same time answering different questions. So we had to break mm -hmm. up who was talking to who. So you would po we were pointing at the person slash spirit that was around them. And they were talking. Mm -hmm. To get the answers. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I was know, standing in the doorway and then it like went around well, that, the room. That made sense. Um, I'm going to say three different things. One, the people that I was talking to, there was three different voices I was hearing. There was a man, a woman, and then um, something else. I don't know what it was. Um, it wasn't a human spirit. Um, but... As I was doing it, um, I relate. I told you about this when I was done um, and had the head bones off. Is when I had my eyes closed so I could try to focus on the voices. Um, I kept feeling like somebody was walking back and forth in front of me. I thought it was like you guys trying to move around the room. I would it walk. It felt like you. someone was right in front of me. So mm -hmm. here's what was going on from my perspective because mm -hmm. my eyes were open and I'm paying attention to everything. So, mm -hmm. 
funny little redheaded chick because I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I will mm-hmm. try to remember your name next time. She was actually she was only communicating with the one, and that would be the mm-hmm. female that you were talking to. She was the one that was attached to the carousel that came from California. Oh, okay. that one was funny. The way that that one answered things, because I would hear. Of course, I'm I'm trying to record everything, right? Like, but I, anyway, sorry. Mm-hmm. I would I would hear little snippets from that one where they're talking about where am I, and then where's m- mom or something, and then they'd be like, maybe she's back in California, and then there'd be something about like uh, the nice weather or something. Like it would just be like, really, we're gonna, go, and then where? Wait, where am I? <laughs> so the female is attached to the carousel, who's actually attached to, and that's an actual attachment. I can actually see the attachment. To the person, yeah. Yeah, she's attached to her. Where yeah. Alex is not fully attached to Bailey yet, but wants to be, this spirit is attached to the pink-haired chick. Yeah. And all it wanted to know is where it was and why it can't go back. It, it wants to be in California. It's not happy being mm-hmm. here in Ohio, but is happy to, and actually called her her friend. Mm-hmm. It's confused um, on why it's in that building. But it's confused on why it's why it's in the building, why it's not California, does not like Ohio. Can't really <laughs> it did not like Ohio. I mean, can you Which really under- it? It's Ohio. Which is understandable because moving something like that into the building that actually has more of the negative energies, I kind of feel bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she'd be. I, I I honestly think she'd be more comfortable in either the hospital area, but then the carousel doesn't fit there, or yeah. the room with the kid. Yeah. Um, the doll room because of something that we're about to talk about here in a little bit for the ending of mm-hmm. this room. It makes her very uneasy. Mm-hmm. Which is very understandable. <laughs> the guy I didn't hear much from. I heard a few answers, things like that. Mm-hmm. Where it gets interesting is you feel this, and I think it was the the female going back and forth between the two of you. Mm-hmm. I you, had two different ones. Wait, you Go and Ashley it. and Ben were constantly yep. talking about your legs. Yep. Oh yeah, there was two different ones. There was one that was uh, up higher, and then another one where like. I, it was felt like it was coming from behind me through the doorway that was behind me where the table was because the back of my legs started getting cold and then it started moving um, in front of me. Did, I need to ask you one question. Did it ever what? tug at you? It tugged at the back of my dress. Okay. Because it tried to tug Ashley to the ground. It tried to tug Ben to the ground. And then there was that thing, and I think you said something about your dress or your skirt or something. And if you were if you were looking at me, you could see me kind of swiping at my leg. Your leg was frozen. Oh, I know. You touched it. <laughs> I know. I was hot. <laughs> well, because my was started getting angry at me because she was like, "You are not." Because he started answering things when she asked him if it was human. And it, that's it, was, that, that's I, it. yeah, we're, that's, no, that's hold on. the ending. That's yeah. the ending, Cassie. <laughs> Cassie spoilers. No. <laughs> it, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Not that I actually saw it, but I could see it. It was crawling. Yeah. Like a like a fucking xenomorph, actually, on all fours between the three of you, through your legs. It like was crawling. Interweaving between the three of you the entire time. Okay, that's just creepy. Like my legs are frozen <laughs> right. Like I'm literally, I my legs are have goosebumps and I'm freezing. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> what if I? I wonder if I if I turn on the light. Like the hairs on my arms are actually standing straight up right now. Now, keep in mind, Honestly, my hair. Same. My hair. Is, <laughs> like, can, you see, can you see them? They're just. I'm ugh. not sure. I have a small screen. Okay. Well, I don't like that feeling. So I would that. love to go back to that room because that room intrigues me. I would just would not go back to that bathroom. I. I <laughs> once we get back to the, once we get to the bathroom, I have something to tell you, but um. Let's finish that this room first. So, like, so I I'm not saying that I'm 
in tune with anything. It's been a mm-hmm. really long time since I've been in tune with anything. When well, I you was were younger, hearing more than I was. I was when, more feeling and seeing stuff behind my eyes. You were actually hearing voices and footsteps and shit that I was not hearing. So my ba- growing up, um, if I had a dream and it was scary, I used to be able to pull people into my dreams. Mm. Um, I would get premonitions of things that would happen. So like there was one time me, my, my dad and my granny all woke up at the same time because my papa went out fishing and we just all felt that he was in danger. And sure enough, he was about to flip over the boat, trying to pull a fish into the boat. Um, my granny did a lot of witchcraft back in her days before she found God. <laughs> um, I roll. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and some of the stuff she taught me, uh, we used to read poems. We used to, you know, have I lost that touch because I don't practice anymore somewhat? Yeah. But I, I think that's also where that whole, I don't sleep like other people. I'm very aware when I'm sleeping, what's going on around Mm -hmm. me is just because that's just who I am. So yeah, I will, I hear things that most people don't hear. And so like I said, I could see it. Mm-hmm. And that's why at that very last question, when it lied to you and the way it lied to you, I called it the yeah. fuck out. It was actually the only answer that was so fucking clear in that room. It freaked me out. So as like I was kind of stuttering trying to talk to you and tell you what was going on after I took the headset out because it just freaked me out so we're sitting there and we're getting ready to leave and i ask the one question are you a human spirit and peaches because i me and ben heard it clear as day and she's got noise canceling headphones on we shouldn't have been able to hear it at all what did it Mm. say well well as loud as it was, though, but still, what did it say and how yes, did it, it say it? it was the loudest voice I heard. It was a... I don't know if I could replicate it. Um, it was like a very, like, yes. It came out through her headphones. But very like loud. Growl. It came yeah. out like a growling of a, yes. Yeah, like that. And <laughs> I just turned around and I went, you're full of shit. Yeah, like I flat I out like, when I was trying no. to yeah when I was trying to repeat it to you guys because I wasn't sure if you guys heard it or not. Um, I'm like I I don't know if you guys should believe this or not, but it said yes, but in the most weird way possible. And then like you guys are like, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure at that point I was facing you, and I'm like, um, yeah, um, you were tapping me on the shoulder multiple times to trying go. to get my attention. Like, yeah. Got to go and we got to no, go. Stop letting him lie to you. Don't don't listen anymore to this one. Like I've yeah. seen what it is. It's not human. It's going to lie. That voice sent a chill down my spine. We gotta go yeah. and we gotta go now. Wait, I have a question. So who was talking to who? Was I mostly talking to the one that wasn't human, and then the other two were talking to human spirits, or what was? Okay, so pink hair chick was m- only talking to the lady of the carousel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. which makes sense which by the way I could not focus on for the longest time that camera was like n- no <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't take pictures of the carousel it wouldn't let yeah. me take a picture of the it's carousel fuzzy. it just kept unfocused yeah. and it, 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 honestly every time I went to go take the picture it's like something went like this and I'm like it's blurry. come on yeah. man <laughs> um, at first I was talking to the carousel lady and a man the non-human, which I'm going to say demon. Sorry, that's just where it comes mm. off as. I hate to say that, but it's it, it didn't feel like elemental to me. It felt very... So malicious, malicious, malicious energy, malicious spirit, something. Because it ain't fucking human. But it didn't yeah. feel like an it didn't feel like an elemental either. Yeah. Um, originally was focusing its attention on Ashley. And when Ashley stopped, it zipped straight to you. So, like, when they were done answering, I answered 
So when she said, thing? when she said, I had enough, mm -hmm. it went right for you. Oh, it didn't so go anywhere. The end. It didn't go anywhere near her because I think she's protected by the carousel lady. Yeah. So it jumped to the next one that it could try to manipulate. Yeah. Not understanding that. She doesn't need any sage or any crystals. Amanda's here. No one manipulates my peaches. <laughs> I have other <laughs> things that are protecting me. It's fine. Yeah, this is I'm good. A, <laughs> but peaches, you know me. I'm a very conscious. You want to see my room right now? <laughs> the ancestors are strong with this one. <laughs> I, look, I understand you could take care of yourself, but you, you're still my peaches. And I, I don't, you know me, I would jump in front of a fucking demon trying to jump into you instantly. Okay. Like, I don't know, I try Couple to punch you. Loyalty. I'm just going to bring that out. <laughs> I am still, I am pure silver. Don't even try me, bitch. I know, but I'm just saying, there's that, that's a good, the loyalty. Slytherins, being... Slytherins are loyal to those that they deem worthy. Or other Hufflepuffs. <laughs> like, Slytherins are fine with Hufflepuffs. Hufflepuffs are friends to everybody. That's the point. I'm not a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Well, I know. But I think yeah. everybody's a little bit of a mix. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a heavier Hufflepuff than anything else, so. <laughs> so Hufflepuff left to left door. Any tests I do do say Ravenclaw, but that's because I like learning things. Yeah. So, yeah, I can understand why the doll room intrigued you because there's a lot there and there's a portal in there somewhere. And I think it's in that. I think it's in that. that behind you. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Is, um, Honestly, I think it might have been whatever was in the bathroom. Because that door leads out to the hallway. So that's what I'm thinking. Because it seemed like a similar energy to the one that was in the bathroom. Slash the, that like wooden hallway platform thing. But I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I wonder if it might be but, but, something but, but, from a but, different room. It didn't seem like it belonged in that room, though. I think it came it does, from it a does, different room. I I think that place, in all honesty, has more portals than we could possibly imagine. For oh, something yeah. that was abandoned for so long. And you can see parts of the ceiling are coming down, things like that. And the fact that mm -hmm. they're bringing other antiques in from other parts of the country. It's going to make it even more haunted and more confusing for and the spirits with, that are already there. And with, and with the... Um, the renovations and the alterations with turning it into a haunted house. And oh my God, the moment that place opens up as an actual haunted house to the public, the amount of energy flowing through there, mm -hmm. the portals will become stronger and these things will increase in power easy. Yeah. And you're going to find that, that constant flow of people. They have a constant energy to feed off of. I guarantee you, if we go back the la the a, a week after the last run through of that haunted house, that place is going to be bopping like a freaking club on a fucking Tuesday night, $5 ladies charge night. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I hope we can go sooner than that, though, because like, I would love to go there multiple times before the end of the year. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me ask a question, though. Let me ask mm -hmm. a question. Let me be skeptic, okay? Go what about it. this place? What about this place gives it all this atmosphere? Because I mean, it doesn't sound like a place of death. It's not a, a, a sane asylum. It's not a hospital. It's not a mortuary. It's just a missile silo or missile site built on what Native would, American land. Uh, well, okay, that's where I'm coming to questions. So lay it out. Why would it be built on Native American land? And Oxford slash Riley is actually one of the most haunted places in the state of Ohio due to the fact that we are built on top of a lot of limestone and running water. Both very um, high materials to, yeah. Uh, well, and if you just think about it, anthropologically, there's more people that accumulate around water and running water, especially. So yeah. the Miami Valley, um, you wouldn't know Miami Valley around here is a, a large river system. Um, so there's a lot of ancient cultures that would have been through here. So the ground itself probably is pretty bad. But then it was a military site. And I don't know if you know much about the military, especially in the 60s and 70s. I'm sure those guys went through some shit. And um, you know there was probably quite a bit of suicides there, too. They just didn't talk about. 
very nondescript, so. No, just the area itself, I believe. Is there anything that I found out about any deaths on the base? No. But mm -hmm. if one of them was a acting soldier and ended up having to get deployed somewhere, and maybe that was the last, you know, that's been his home for years, where would he go? Yeah, the last away? place he remembered. Especially if he was really young and went straight from home to war or to service. But and then the collection of things, though, Dad, too. I don't know. She kind of mentioned it, but they literally, like, I can't explain to you, like, the things they brought in. So, like, even the couch in the living room, the, the, we mentioned the bayonet and the, whatever you call the dolls. The doll room had, like, a hundred dolls, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> in and a very tiny these, room. Some of these are supposedly haunted artifacts that they've brought into this haunted place that's oh, turning into a haunted house yeah. oh, it's it. perfect like they're it's doing a really good job to yeah. hell. <laughs> it's creepy and of course it does have energies in it that just you, it's hard to explain them even when you're trying to be logical like the entire time of course i'm thinking of different things like the the cat ball like all right so it's already low on battery so there's something going on with it it's glitching it's doing the da -da -da. then toward the end something happens that's like mm, so Philip's real, and um, he likes the cat toy. And he would <laughs> so like. Go ahead and talk about that because that was before. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and, and talk about room. talk about what Philip said about the toy. When we were literally leaving the whole, like that whole room was, um, we walked back through, and it it said battery like so clearly, and like the lights are going off like yeah. super pathetic, and I was like, oh, yeah. do you want us to bring back another like toy like and, and oh just it was it was ridiculous like cute <laughs> it was, yeah like, battery. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he said something afterwards idea. too because it was toy I thought he and said yeah else. I thought no, he, he said a few I'm sorry go ahead I, I thought a couple of times when we said do you want some more toys he said yeah or yes or e or that that was when we were all in the room we're right, talking yeah. about when it was just me Cassie and someone else um I had already we're the, at the back of the group that building. Yeah. I just forgot we're about at the back it of the we... group when we were in the story, we were going away from the building. But yeah, yeah, we were walking back through, and it literally said, battery, and you look over, and it's, like, weekly, like, vibrating. I was like, oh, do you, you know, do you want to bring up back something? And I do think at that point it said something, but, of course, I can't remember, so I didn't want to bring it up. Yeah. It's on the video, yeah. like, because I have the camera. So, literally, you'll you'll hear us say something, and it'll be like, you know, either yes or please, or uh, I don't remember. More than likely... He probably said yes or please or something along those lines. <laughs> he was a very, very polite he was very guy. sweet. And I, I think we made his day by giving him something that he could actually play with. Yeah. Other than a bayonet. Anyway, the point <laughs> is there's, there's so many different things that there could be energies from. And you could explain most of them away, I'm sure. And then there's just those ones that it's way too much of a coincidence on how, for example, those... the De the rods moved or how certain questions mm -hmm. were answered. It's like, oh, fuck. Um, yeah, it could still be so... coincidence. I get it, but, <laughs> but it's a really small coincidence. <laughs> I am extremely glad that I brought everything that I did because it just added to what they already had. Um, in evidence-wise, like, doing the double spirit box method was, like, I was so excited to do that. So mm -hmm. to see if, like, our answers will line up and the um, dowsing rods, I have wanted to be, use those for so long, just not in the house, because I don't want to do anything like that in the house. Mm. Um, uh, but I've been wanting to use them for so long that I was like, when I was getting ready to use them for, for the first time there, like I was shaking because I was so excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which funnily enough did not always make which, a difference like you could tell that people would move their hands and sometimes they would just stay still even when people moved which was creepy yeah. it was like something's holding it there where they wanted to be <laughs> I don't know which, I did bring candles we just never got to use them oh, interesting mm. yeah. so are we moving to the, the room <laughs> are, are we leaving the doll room and go oh I'm echoing so next it was time to go potty <laughs> so peaches you have you and ben actually have the first encounter that none of us even i didn't really yeah know until I was surprised we, we which, said which this kind of goes back into what the ending is going to happen to me yeah 
So go, please. Actually, oh. yeah. <laughs> so were we the first or last? Um, we were coming out of the doll room, and you two were behind because um, I was in the front because I so really we were wanted in the back. to be scary. Yes. Okay, I consistently so, tried to be in the back because I had the camera. So I don't know. I guess I thought I was going to try to be behind people. <laughs> I believe well, Cassie you and probably ben was the- behind us. Uh, I think Cassie went ahead. Yeah, and I went- watched you and Ben do your thing. Oh I no, just you, saw you were with that. us. You were okay. ahead of me, just yeah. like three steps yeah. ahead of me. <laughs> okay, because um, I remember oh, you following me yeah. into the other. You room. rounded There's the corner awesome. before I got to round the corner, so I didn't see what you saw, okay. but I saw you guys reacting so, to what you saw. So yeah. So um. Pretty much, I don't know if it's the exact same time or like milliseconds apart, but me and Ben both saw um, something. I know I saw like something, like a figure or something, like rush around the corner. I don't know about Ben because he didn't explain, but we both at the same time immediately turned and would walk down that corridor. Um, and I saw it again, peek its head um, out of the, the um, doorway. And I immediately walked in that room ahead of Ben and said, I know you were in here. Where are you? Um, and like, I really wanted to keep going because there were like, there was one, there was two, one room, there was a hallway and then there was the door to outside. Do you, um, you see the hairs? <laughs> going, going um, Only because I know where this is going. It was it was still in there when we left. I just didn't want to um, go away from the group too much. Oh, yeah, um, still in there when you left. <laughs> so we went into the shower room um, where we proceeded to do another spare box section. Where, er, where, where session. I, I would like to point out that I did not go into the shower room for very long because there was a goddamn <laughs> spider in there. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we also had Ben doing the dowsing rods. I put out um, one or two more of my um, uh, cat balls, which I don't think went off. Or okay. wait, no, there was one time it went off. One time it was behind Ben. Um, I remember that now. Um, but I had that going, and um, me and Ben were trading off with the uh, the rods. Um, because he, his arms were starting to get tired, so I ended up taking them and was um, doing it as well. Um, but it kept talking about the portal and um, something wanting to close the portal, but there was actually something else that was like, no, we're not doing that. Um, there was like a back and forth. Um, there was, I'm pretty sure human spirit is like, please close this portal, close. Um, it was, it was shower, okay. bathroom. So, it, it, so from the outside, I'm listening to both conversations. And the one that Peaches and Ben are talking to is talking about it's, it's evil, it's a portal, it's here, it's evil, close, close. And so I asked the question, do you want us to close the portal? He tells her yes. And out of the other one comes the word idiot. Wow. Yeah. And so I make the, I, I look at everybody. I get permission from the people who own the building. I look at my team and I'm like, can we cleanse this? And they were willing to help the other spirit. Now, I don't know if you heard what she said, but it told me to die the moment I no, did not cleanse yeah. this. It told me to die. No. Which, sure which, also lead, which also will which lead, lead into, into what will happen next. What ends up happening. So they end up cleansing it. Um, another word came out. I'm not sure if I heard it right, but it sounded like bitch. Yeah, it got very aggressive. It got um, very angry, and it blamed one person. Even though I didn't do the cleansing, it blamed one person because, it's because you came I up with the idea. Because yeah. I came up with the idea to help the human spirit. It's pretty so much like, I, how dare you? As we everybody's packing up to leave, Peaches and I are putting the last bits together. Yeah, we were the last ones out because I was still putting everything in my bag. Um, And I had spilled my wax on my hand somehow. I don't know how, but it got on my phone, on my hand, and, like, yeah. 
but I was trying to clean that off um, before leaving the room, and it ended up just being me and Amanda. And now, Amanda, take over. So, to let you all understand, I am wearing a tank top like this. I have this necklace and this necklace on, and then I have a camera hanging here on a strap. (laughs) Her camera. We're starting to walk out, and I hear step, step, step. And I was like, did you hear that? Same corridor. I was like, where was that figure? This is when I asked her, where was that figure? Mm Mm-hmm. And she showed me, so I went over there and I took a bunch of random snaps with the camera. I turn around and you just hear, I hear, she doesn't hear, I hear this rush. And the next thing she, the next thing I feel is this. Wait, hold on. Nope. Hold hold on. That wasn't in that area. We were walked after you taking the pictures. We come around. um, Hold on. When you were taking the pictures, you said for some reason it, it like spammed. Um, when you weren't meaning to, um, but you were walking out, um, I was in front of you, so I didn't see this. I heard it. Um, I was walking in front of you. We just got off the wooden platform that is almost like a tunnel and get into the bathroom, but we got off the platform. No, we were still in the bathroom when it grabbed. When it fell off? No, it was when we just got out of the, um, because I remember we hit yeah, it was right outside because sure? there was the railing um, I, from the. Um, honey, it, all I remember is taking the pictures, coming out, feeling this rush up on me, and this yeah. snag. You know, I remember places really well. You can ask Kathy. Um, I remember a layout of the room where it happened in. I was just about to get through the doorway, and then I heard a crashing noise. And then um, I heard you, like, cuss or something. I looked around, I, and I saw the camera on the ground. Up. You were doing this. And, like, I was looking at your chest, and I realized that the camera had fallen. And, like, um, you were just kind of, like... From where I had been fran- frantically, Frantically just kind of rubbing your neck. Um, and you were just like cussing at it and saying, uh, leave me alone and, and, keep in mind, and don't she touch said, me. I'm rubbing. I wasn't grabbing. I was rubbing. Yeah, no, you were rubbing your neck. Like what the hell just happened? And I see the piece, the, the, what, what, straps. what, what yeah. the straps and the straps weren't broken. It's a little hard to get those out, too. That you can pull them out, but it's hard to get those out. And I just yell, motherfucker. And Pete just turns around, and the camera's on the ground. I'm bent over, because, like, when I said it yanked, it fucking yanked. Yeah, she was, like, not quite 90 degrees, but, like, 120 (laughs) degrees. Like, quite a bit not standing straight. She was like this. Um... Because when I looked at her face, like, it was frantic, um, which and is I valid. Don't, because... I, don't, I don't get frantic. Yeah. I, I, you know, Cassie's been on some ghost hunting things with me before in the past, and we've checked out some mm-hmm. haunted places before in the past. I don't get frantic. Right. That's that's not me. Well, this... after maybe, but not, yeah, like, after when you get excited about and this it. Is why like, I wait, I should have been different. more worried about that. <laughs> Yeah. Amanda, are you sure? Um, well, <laughs> now that you kind of mention it, um, this is why I say it wasn't the thing from the doll room. The thing from the doll room, I knew yeah. wasn't human, but it did not. It didn't it, seem it, malicious. It, 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 not in this sense. It seemed more. The, the one in the doll room it probably was like more that. just. And wanted something. The, the doll room wanted yeah. something to attach to. This thing wanted to punish me. It's like, how dare you take pictures of me? How dare you be in my space? How dare how you? How dare you try to close, try to close portal? the portal? How that portal just was how mine. Dare you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gave off more the vibe of this is my place, and I will do as I please to anything that comes into this place. But we ended up picking up the camera and everything, and um, we started walking outside. And apparently, you felt like you were being touched, and you started freaking out more and yelling. And 
No, that was before we saw scratch marks. No, 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 no. Um, this is this is me. Mm-hmm. Because this is this is how a f- that fuck. Um. So as so we get the camera and I'm trying to calm down, and we start mm-hmm. walking, and I now focus on you know Peaches and her camera. And she's like, I hope the lens isn't. And, you know, I'm, I'm now more worried about the camera. I'm like, okay, th- this thing's a piece of shit. And I hear two footsteps. And I, and, rem- and I just feel this yank. And that's where you hear me go, yeah. get the fuck, get the off, fuck me. off me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hesitate. I yeah. I turned around. I was like, "You get the fuck off me! You don't have the right to touch me! You can't be part of me! You ain't coming home with me! And you get your ass back in that goddamn building and leave me the fuck alone!" Yeah, it was in that tone, very much so, just a lot louder. <laughs> like everybody stopped. Like, oh yeah, the shit. people who were outside were all looking at like the entrance to the building, so fucking confused. And then but, we're walking to the car, and I'm just like, "Can somebody like get my chest is burning? Up? My yeah. chest is burning." And there were two marks. We have pictures too. Actually, you can still barely wow. see them. See it there and there. Wow. From where it had grabbed and scratched me yeah. in the chest. It wasn't trying to, sh- I don't think it was trying no, to scratch you at it, all. It was just really wanting the camera just wanted, off of you and gone. It wanted, it, it wanted to tell, it, it, it was trying to make a statement. Yeah. Because if it was a demonic attack, I would have had three scratches straight off the bat. Because with demonic attacks, it's always in marks of three. Mock the Trinity. Mocking the Trinity. This, whatever this was, either a very powerful malicious. I, I, I honestly can't tell you if it's a demon or a human. It feels like something. Honestly, it more non-human than human. But it damn well was pissed at me. Yeah. And I instantly was like, sage me. <laughs> I was not even no like we saved you like twice. Twice. <laughs> and if anybody's paying attention, I'm still wearing a protective necklace where this incident happened just to yeah. be on the safe side. I don't think there's anything here and I don't think anything followed me home because Fizzy is acting normal. Nothing's been and if this if, if the thing that did what it did was that pissed off at me and it followed me home it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna wait and it wasn't gonna hesitate yeah nope but yeah that I'll be I, I can sit here and I will honestly tell everybody that scared the living shit out of me yeah and the smart in me tells me never to go into that room again but mm-hmm. there's where peaches I want to go in that off room. I don't want to go in the bathroom again, but like I want to go into that room that led off of the bathroom. I only want to go into the bathroom to see if we helped. Yeah. I want just long enough to see if we could find that spirit that we talked to to see if it helped any. Yeah. Or even knowing that there's people out there that are willing to try and help comfort him any. No. I do find it interesting as we were doing the talking. When we first got there, they were talking to the one entity that they call Gary. Yeah. And then Gary booked the fuck out of there when yeah, the other which guy I showed think up. Was when the other thing showed up. Yeah. And the other thing showed up. And I, if you paid attention, I, I don't know if Cassie, Cassie was outside with me and I kept taking pictures of the mirrors that were down the. So, like, okay. To paint yeah, you. I have okay. the pictures of the mirrors. Here's the, here's the shower. Cassie and I are in this hallway. There's the mirrors, and down the mirror and to the right is the room where this thing was. Mm-hmm. I wonder the reason why I kept getting pulled 
and looking that way. I'm wondering if they kept coming out. Damn. Didn't you take some pictures that way? Like, I I kind of, I got into a lot of pain toward the end, so I wasn't paying a lot of attention. I, I was just holding the camera. Yes, so, she did. <laughs> like, so I don't really remember. But were you, like, before I left, taking pictures of that direction? Like I was constantly taking like pictures. Was. Something kept telling me, you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention over here. Because I can listen to what's going on here. I don't need to pay attention to this. Because there's plenty of people yeah. paying attention to this. And this was something that occurred a lot as we were there. Is where everybody else's attention was being paid attention. Att paying attention to this focus area. And Peach has mentioned this earlier. I kept getting pulled away into other areas. Like there's this over here. You really fo pay attention to this over here. Yeah. But I just think it's kind of ironic, the same thing that was drawn. How many times you got to be on the stream, Cassie? Whoa, <laughs> that's impressive. My phone said no, and it just, what? Yeah. <laughs> we can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, we can. Like that. Well, well now she's gone. I was just, I was going to leave her up for both. <laughs> oh, no. If I had both up, you could hear her. But I think it was kind of ironic that, like, the whatever it was there was pulling you towards the same area that both me and Ben saw something. And I really wanted to stay over in that area and try to figure out what was there. Um, now, uh, this is where I can understand why you say you don't know if it's a malicious spirit or not, because if when I was over there, it's malicious. Yeah. Well, I know it's malicious. I mean, demon wise. Um, I think it's more malicious that it doesn't want, evidence of it being there but it wants people to know that it's there it wants it wants people to know that that's its area regardless of yeah. what other spirits are there or not what is kind of creepy about it is i don't think it's human by any mm. means i don't think it's a demon either i think it's something more ancient yeah. So what are you talking about? Just a elementals. Residual. Elementals. Okay. I don't know. Okay. okay. So one, you just meant okay. So there are two different types of haunts, and Dad Man just mentioned one, which is called residual. Now, if you don't know, there's residual and non-residual. Residual is when you're in an area and you'll hear the footsteps, or you'll hear the scream. They're echoes. It's, it's, the, it's the echoes of the past. It's not intelligent. It doesn't know yeah. that you're there. It's just it's replaying. Just, it's replaying everything. You found the 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 specific day, time, and the conditions are just right, like it was at that particular moment. That the residual energy manifests itself to give you that evidence. Mm -hmm. Then there's intelligent haunting, non-residual. Which we encountered a lot. Where it actually interact with us. It knew we were there. It physically. Mm -hmm. Touched. It physically grabbed. It, it physically. Whatever it did. It let mm -hmm. you know. I see you. I know you're here. That's an intelligent haunt. These. Most of the entities that we encountered. Were very intelligent. They're there. And they knew we were there. There was many a times throughout the night. It would say people. Like holy shit. There's fucking people here. And I'm just like. Oh wait till you see when the place opens up. As a haunted house baby. Oh shit. <laughs> they, they, they were. Holy like a lot. And it wasn't just one. A lot of them were like. That's a lot of chickens. <laughs> Look at all them yeah. chickens. <laughs> yep. yeah. I haven't go haven't been seeing a lot of people for years to seeing a shit ton of people in one room. And yeah. and now that you have people interacting with them, they're going to interact more. They're learning how to answer the devices, they know how they work. They're they they is, even if it's stuff that they've never used before, you could you could be like, "Well, if you do this or if you do that, We'll be able to do this and that. And they start learning how to use the equipment. Yeah. I think it was kind of ironic. Their REM pod. Um, 
and died. died. Um, I no. The only reason I think it's ironic because I hate the sound of Ren pods. <laughs> I really do. I, I and, don't like um, them either. It gets me very agitated and just uncomfortable. Um, so I'm kind of glad it kind of died, but I just think it was ironic because that's just not but one of my I favorite things Ren to pods use. Are a really good way to get yes or no questions. Oh one yeah, easy. I know a yes or no answers. Um. But the, the term that I say, elemental, dad man, your elementals will be things in a lot of the folklores of fairies, leprechauns. Um, you know, a leprechaun is actually a form of fairy, which is a form of an elemental, an ancient type spirit. And Native Amer- if it's with this being Native American land, and they could conjure everything from skimwalkers to spirits of the elemental sort. There could be an elemental within that place. And it came off as elemental. <laughs> it didn't come off as demonic. It came off as a pissed off elemental that does not like people on its land. It doesn't want us there. It's not happy we're there. It wants its land and it wants to do with as it pleases with the portals, the energies, and the spirits that are there. Mm. That's how it comes off. That's how I felt. And it really, really did not like that I wanted to shut that portal down. And it learned really, really quick that if you piss me off, I'm going to cuss you out like a goddamn bitch. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck if you're a ghost or if you're a human. You, you yank me. I swear to God, I will yell at you. You would have thought I was fighting with an ex. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I just, it pissed me off. I went from my phone therapy. is making you all robots. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's going to kick me off soon. That's you fine, Cassie. Good? If you have to go, you have to go. I, 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 I do love the fact that Cassie goes. Philip's real. Fuck everything else, but Philip, <laughs> Philip's real. I, Philip's mom. I spend the rest of my time explaining why things could be different, but the Philip thing, I really, that was really, really coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, I absolutely believe in spirits, but most of the time I also believe that we see what we want to see, we hear what we want to hear, and we perceive the way we're going to perceive things. So, it, there's just, when things line up too perfectly that I can't explain them away by some other means, it, I don't know, it intrigues me. I just knew I wasn't supposed to be in that shower. That's why that spider was in there. <laughs> no kidding. I was happy I wasn't in the doll room. I you realized only later that I stayed at the door frame and didn't actually go in. <laughs> I'm, yeah. It was really weird, especially because I had touched Ashley's because Ashley, Ben, and Pete were all cold at the exact same spot from that doll room. Every last one of you. Ben's pants were cold, your legs were cold, and Ashley's pants were cold. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I could, and when I got down to start checking things out, that's when I. I saw it, but I didn't see it. Yeah. I, I I don't know how. It's really hard to explain. But it was like it was the it was darker than the dark moving. Yeah. Does that make any sense to you, Dad Man? I think we lost Dad Man. I think he died. No, I was muted. I was I was muted. Sorry. I'm just. God damn it, Dad Man. <laughs> This is just, it, it's just so much to take in and comprehend. And so so you want to come up here and go ghost hunting with us and see? Not really. Not really. <laughs> it's dead by daylight's enough for me. <laughs> oh, did you hear we're getting the Xenomorph and Ripley? I thought I heard about the Xenomorph. I didn't know about Ripley, though. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Um, okay. But, um, 
do do you understand the concept of darker than dark? Like it's yeah, dark. I, okay. Yeah, think, so like yeah. it's dark, but there's like this darkness that you can well, see moving in no, the dark. No, 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 no. I know. We had one on the way through Mississippi many years ago in the dark, and there was something darker than the dark ahead. I no, I know exactly we think it was a bear or something, but it was whatever it was was darker than the dark ahead of us. So ghost bear. Yeah, ghost bear. <laughs> It, oh, it, but no, it's really hard to explain. Like, yeah. how, how do I put this? It, it, you know what a xenomorph is, right, Peaches? Yes. Okay. It look it, from the, the the way that it was forming. It kind of looked like the cross between a chupacabra and a xenomorph. The way that it was crawling and the way it, it was yeah. on all fours. It had this really whippy tail like a xenomorph, but it had like the I had a face almost like fizz gigs that was naked and oh, that chupacabra hmm. type size. Yeah. It was just interesting. Like, like I said, I saw it, but I didn't see it. Like I saw, a, I, I, I sensed it enough to see it, but I, and I could see like it's outline within the darkness yeah. because when I went down to the ground, it got dark as shit. Because all wow. the light was up here with you guys, <laughs> and I'm down here in the dark, going, "Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it?" Oh, no, I want to go back up into the light. No, <laughs> like I don't know if I, if I really want to go back again and do the SS method again, but at the same time, like I want to experience what you guys experienced and watch somebody else do it and see what's going on around the room. I would actually, instead of doing the spirit box thing this way, I want to do yeah. the more traditional spirit box. On the speaker? Where, on the speaker. Okay. Asking questions in a little bit more of a controlled environment. I yeah. mean, I, like I said, when I went in there, I went in there to... Okay, Dad man. Go back, please. Um, I, I, I went in there very skeptical. Yeah. I mean, I knew that there were things happening when I did the podcast, but I was still very skeptical of the fact that, you know, I don't know this place. I don't know the history of this place. And will they let you would they let will they let you uh stream live out of there or not? I'm streaming the haunted house live from there if I can get the internet to work properly. So when you but when y'all went through this time, it was not a live stream. Uh no, it was not a live stream. Um, and the main reason was is uh there was a lot of people there, and I didn't want a lot of confusion. Right. And yeah, I really i i didn't I didn't want to go. Hey, we're ghost hunting, live streaming, and nothing happened. And it's like, yeah. well, that's oh, I know. I yeah, that that's a big concern. Well, it was the way we did it. Um. It'll actually be a lot better, though, because we can go back and see for ourselves what we get. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, we can leave it uncut or we can edit it ourselves and I, just kind of put it up. I think I want to I, – I, I, will, I will cut it because yeah. um, I want the parts of my team where it's more believable. And I want to make sure that it lines up with the questions, the answers. It's not, you know, there's enough people that were there. There's you, there's Cassie, which everybody who watches this channel knows that you guys are very trustworthy. And then there's my friend Ashley, who, if there's any outsiders, um, you know, here's somebody who's from the outside that I brought in as well. Um, You'll still have a decent amount of content, too, just oh because God, I was trying yeah. to throw myself into everything. So... I mean, there's like what, four <laughs> hours to go through, so we should be fine. Yeah, three to four hours. Yeah. On how many devices? Holy shit. Oh, yeah. And I that, still have to send you those pictures reason. and the recording, um, then, but I yeah. have to try to get my recording to download on my computer. I and that, and that's going to be that the, that's gonna be the biggest thing is because that's why I want to edit it is because I've got to mm -hmm. make sure that everything lines up in sync and I'm going to have to put everything together. Yeah. Are you wanting to put the um, recording over what's going on? I don't know in? how I want to do it yet. I want to see how it lines up, where the good okay. parts are, okay, and do it that way. 
you know, because remember, I'm sitting there in that kid's room with the recorder as far away from everybody as I can. Yeah. But if there was something actually behind me talking into that recorder, it may have to be its own thing that wasn't Philip. Yeah. So, but that man, I know you have to go because you have yes. something that you have to do. And of course, um, Cassie died. Um, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> More like her phone died. Speaking of ghosts. But yes, um, it was, I, I've been on a lot of adventures and I've seen a lot of things from shadow people to think there, there's been times that I'm like, Oh shit. Okay. I gotta go by, but I have never had an experience that I'm just like, fuck. Mm. I went from scared to concerned about your equipment to piss the right fuck off. Yeah. In like I've five minutes. About, I've never heard about them pissed at a ghost. That's kind of cool. That's different. You don't you don't grab my hair like that. You don't Man. grab the fucking back of my head like that. I swear to fucking Christ. Not without my permission and not unless I'm having sex. You don't do that shit. And I ain't having no sex with no goddamn elemental piece of shit. Fair enough? Yep. Fair enough. That, I mean, that... that the, Let's put it this way. I left enough of my own energy there yelling at it. It's going to know when I step on property next time. Well, there you go. Hey, it will know. Because I'm full, I'm full of energy. But on that note, I do want to thank Dad Man Walking for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our little ghost adventure story time. Yeah, it's been nice. Learned some things. Quite interesting. And, of course, guys, you can check out Dad Man Walking on YouTube, Twitch, and, of course, over on Twitter at DadManWalking55. You can catch P Cassie when she's not – her phone's not trying to murder her right next <laughs> to me at any time of the show – at any of the shows that we're at when we're promoting AGP at conventions. And you can um, check out Peaches, who's not Peaches, who's Rain, who's not Rain, who's a raven, who's not a raven. Pick a name. Is she peaceful <laughs> or is she pain or rain? <laughs> You can catch her at peace, you can catch our peaceful underscore Raven right here on Twitch, over on Twitter, on her Etsy, and of course over on Instagram. But remember, Instagram has an extra underscore after Raven. And if you need more AGP, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, and of course over on YouTube, where you can check out our Arc Survival Evolved videos. On that note, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you all on the next one. And don't worry, we've got more ghost stories coming. Oh yeah. my god, you can't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this cake treat. It's not going to work because I'm not on the thing, but it's nice to note that that's there. Um, I don't even know. Hold on. So we did something before everybody goes. I probably have to be in one. I Fuck you. Ah. Stuff from my wrath. Shut up, Phil. Um, I don't know if it would play. Uh, can I actually hold on? Uh, brand. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's not here. There's no way to put it up, is there? Um, if you get if you get the joy, I don't know if it will. Hold on, I know how to do this. Hold on, share screen. Um, let me know if you can hear. No. Okay, mm -hmm. let's try that again. Um, present, share screen, share tap, audio, window. Oh man. Will you not do right? I guess it only plays on the Discord. That kind of sucks. I did. I, I downloaded something where <clears throat> hopefully it will work properly when I'm not, when I'm in my thing. Um, mm -hmm. you hear in fizz gig to go with the fizz gig treat. Oh, that'd be <laughs> cool. So, but it looks like because we're using StreamYard and not Discord or actual Twitter, it doesn't actually pull up for me to hear. So I don't know if it played or not. Meanwhile, the dog starves from the lacks of my treats. No, the dog is not starving. She, this is her third one. And at the end of the show, too. Fizzy. Hippie bee. 
There you go. Oh, yeah. her, her got that look. Time. There you go, baby. All right. On that note, guys, thanks so much for watching. We love you, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.